Folks, we got the old school uh, dynamite up. I know, I know we don't see them logos anymore down at the bottom on one of those social media apps. <laughs> but we wanted to throw it back. If AEW is doing a throwback, we're doing a throwback. We are going to be talking AEW Dynamite 200. Bro, we, we had to have covered at least, I would say, like 75% of these. Yeah. I don't think we've missed too many unless we were either at the show or when I took that small sabbatical. I think it was only like a month or two. Yeah. So other than that, bro, out of 200, we probably covered over 150, 160 dynamites, I would say. I would agree. I would and that don't count the pay-per-views and all the old uh, shows that we did beforehand when they were doing everything on the side. So make sure you guys pop in. Show us some love. Love it. We need it. Um, much appreciate everybody involved. Uh, just showing love to EPW. I put out a thank you tweet. Um Rank number six on Good Pods for Wrestling Podcast. Felt good to see that. Make sure you guys go to Good Pods. Give us a listen on there. Boost us. Boost us. And uh, we'll come in and do that. Um, we're going to hit this intro, man. Then we're going to get ready to talk some uh, pro wrestling. Let's get it. Everything pro wrestling can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people. The best show that's here. So listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinion and the lesson. Yes. Everyday pro wrestling. They can never be you. Welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Dynamite 200 is the episode. Thank you, everyone, who has been supporting us. Uh, make sure you guys are in here showing love. Uh, appreciate all of you. We are ranked number six on Good Pods. If you guys get Good Pods, if you can, look us up. Boost us up, man. Maybe we can get in that number one spot. Um, big shout out to the homie Ed Fries. He said, hey, hey, gentlemen. Hope AEW was a great show. I think it was. It was. Sir Quills said, Conrad, Derek, chat. Sir Quills is here to enjoy another AEW Dynamite review. Let's get into it. Matt Lopez says, good evening. What's good, Matt? Uh, I'm loving the sheet of love in the chat. We we're going to get into that, definitely. Hope y'all are doing well. BJ, I hope you're doing well, brother. Hope you are doing well. Eric Douglas, two things. Congratulations, Sheeta. I really thought we were getting... Uh, uh, what Monet or Amanda Rose? Come on now, Mandy Rose selling them picks, man. She ain't thinking about none of this. Nope. And Mercedes Monet, maybe, maybe I don't think it's time yet. Deanna in the house, hello, Deanna. Look at that. B Boy Skyline said, Where is Thunder Rosa? I've heard she's taking preparation to get back into the ring. Uh, B Boy says, Whether it's Dynamite, Ring of Honor, Rampage, or maybe even Collision, you'll be seeing a lot more of the elite. From Kenny Omega. I want to start seeing them CM Punk quotes here. Let me stop. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Matt Lopez said RIP to Nick Wayne. Come on, bro. Come on. They actually let uh, Hikaru Shida get the win. That's what's up. Deanna says hello. Everybody's yelling at me about the audio. See, this is what happens, though. I got to read stuff at the top. I got to read stuff up at the top. So that's that's on me. I hit the button. No one else to blame but me. Um, let me see here. Christian said in the words of Stone Cold, what? No, it's not Streamlabs. It was me. It was me. I'm just looking at everybody. Best EPW, the silent show. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Uh, positively E, thank you. E was the one who called me. Appreciate you, E. Much love, bro. Um, and we're back to regular schedule programming. I know this isn't really an AEW show topic, but what's y'all thoughts on Fight Forever? I feel like I'm the only one. Uh, I feel like I'm not the only one in the this game has gotten boring and stale boat. Christian, I love you, bro. You picked the wrong topic for me tonight. <laughs> Let me tell you something real quick, guys, about Fight Forever real quick. I can feel your frustration. I can understand your frustration with the game. But... Here's what we're not going to do. <laughs> I don't need anybody messing this game up for people. You know why? Because if this game doesn't sell well or doesn't do well, we're going to be back to one company making wrestling video games. Is that what you want? 
I'm giving you just the business, man. I'm just telling you. If you want one company making your games, if you love 2K23 and the 2K series, be my guest. Do what you got to do. But crapping on this game and then not being able to uh, give them some positive feedback or, hey, this is how I think you should do it, is not going to lead to any good. I've just been seeing a lot of it in the in discords and things like that. I'm like, what do you what do you want these guys to do? Like the community manager said he was going on vacation and they were like harassing dude. I'm like, what what do you want him to do? What do you want him to do? Everybody's entitled to some time off, man. It's been a month. You cannot expect something to be updated in a month. Like, I don't know. Do you play any of those games that are live service? Fortnite or anything? Absolutely like, not. do they update stuff in a month? Like if you have a complaint in a month, are they like, yeah, here you go. It's fixed. No. I don't think it works like that. But someone tell me in the chat because I don't know. I don't play that stuff. Dude, the last the last live play game that I bought was uh what was it? Um NBA Live. Nah. <laughs> uh it's EA Bleak because I'm in the zone. It's not Call of Duty. What's the other game? Uh oh shoot, what was it? It was a live, it was a live play game. It was it was a war game, but I can't remember can't remember what it was. I didn't realize that it was live play. I didn't. I thought it was a, a brand new um, brand new war game, and it ended up being live play. I was like, oh, risk? No, no. <laughs> God no. Hold on, let him pull that up. Elite resigns. Sheeta wins the strap. Hey, hey, I'm just saying. It's Jesus De Leon. What up, Jesus? Top five dynamite of all time. This was Jesus is saying, mm -hmm. hey, You talking big, Jesus. You talking big, bro. It's me, it's me, it's DDP. Tokyo said, Fight Forever got flat. My point is this I'll listen, I'll cuss Fight Forever out for some of the stuff they've done. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if I'm gonna say that, I told them afterwards, I'm like, you know what y'all should do? You should have a DLC roadmap yes. telling us what we're doing. I find it unacceptable that they put out DLC with no dates. Well, what did you want me to think? I'm just supposed to wait until you tell me all this stuff and assume? That's not how things have been done with other things. So either you tell me dates, because here's the thing. They were like, don't believe the Nintendo stuff. Well, Nintendo was right about FTR, so... You got to you got to communicate is the main thing. I think communication is key. I don't care if something's going to be delayed, tell me. Yes. And it's it, it it's easier, yes. I think. Let me know. Uh it was uh Battlefield 2042. There you go. Yeah. Garbage. Bring back Army of 2. Bring <laughs> uh, bring Oh, actually you know what? that was a dope game. It was. That was a dope game. Bring, uh, bring back um bring back uh what was like the old Battlefield games. Or uh no 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 uh, what, what was the other one? Uh Navy SEALs? Was that a SOCOM? Game? So nah, third person? I don't know yeah, about yeah, that. Bring back SOCOM games. Get him out of here. <laughs> hey Zeus said we might get your dream match, comrade. The elite versus CM Punk and FTR. Sweet cinnamon on a cinnabon. You don't even want to know how that's gonna be. Oh, Damn it, Dale. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, we just have to be patient and wait for updates for Fight Forever. Yeah, support the game still. And when the updates come, play it again, too. Yeah. I saw people trying to use the, oh, there's nobody online. Okay. Like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, Nobody's online. Yeah. If, if people are abusing the... So when online games are ruined for this, guess, guess who ruined them? The players. That's who yes. ruined them. So least people and tell people to stop doing that crap but they gotta fix it it's not even on us all the way like to police them you they gotta fix the bad stuff that they put in the game that's that's i get why they did it but at the same time someone took it and ruined it yeah uh, just give it time jesus are you talking about in dynamite history or for tonight let me know and then we'll answer that question other than that trash finish in the opening match, Dynamite was a pretty good show for the 200th episode, Quill says. Uh, there are plenty of wrestling games coming out. Uh, thought just the 2K series like Wrestling Empire. It's it's there, but it ain't gonna it ain't gonna save you. Retromania. It's there. It's probably a really good game, but they ain't coming out with that no more. WrestleQuest I've heard of, but I don't know how that's going to last. I'm 
interested, but I'm not interested fully. It looks like one of those quest scroller games and others. Uh, we'll see. Ooh. Omega better show up for collision, said the real world champion. Huh? I want a shot. He ain't say that now. Chill out now. Fortnite is monthly updates. So if there's a problem last month, it would be fixed already. That's what I'm asking. If there was a problem in July, y'all would have the fix now. Someone tell me that. People that want it to be more like 2K are bugging facts. I mean, only 20 people are playing it on Twitch currently. Not crapping on it. You know I love my wrestling games, but 20 people playing? Yeah, better come with that content soon. Hey. Battlefield? No, it wasn't Battlefield. Derek finally found that. Uh, I want to get WrestleQuest. Looks interesting. Yeah, I saw they had uh, JD from New York tweeted he's in it today. Uh, MJS promo was phenomenal. We'll get to that in a second. Heck, even Wrestling Empire gets updates and informs the community of uh, on those updates. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I can tell you all more, but I don't want to get too deep into this with the Fight Forever stuff. Maybe I'll save that for a video, or maybe we'll do a live stream and chat it up about it. Uh, just coming to say what up, but GTA and NBA series update pretty frequently. Nah, 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 nah. Grand Theft Auto ain't getting away with a compliment from you. They've had the same game out since PlayStation 3. Yes. No. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Nothing different about Grand Theft Auto. It's fine for what right. it is, but Netflix, that's it. No, 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 no. But I'm talking about you can't. How many times do you expect me to buy this game? It's the same game. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Ultra Pro Wrestling Trailer 826. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that game. That's a copy and paste of No Mercy, too, basically. Not trying to be funny. I mean, he's probably adding new moves, but that's what it, that's going to be the real No Mercy game. Uh, depends on what it is, but a major AAA live game can be repaired weekly. Sometimes the bugs take a whole season to fix. Depends on how bad it breaks the game, but Fight Forever was not from a AAA company. They are changing joints to Battle Royal uh, for the funds. You'll be like, where's my campaign? <laughs> so that Cody doc came out this week. Haven't seen it yet. I'll have to watch that with Derek live because Derek will be tight. Would you be upset? You can be honest. Well, I don't know which one I'd be more upset about. Never forget Cody's debut. God damn it. <laughs> Derek was tight. He was tight. I prayed it wasn't him that whole time. Rob called it so calm. Look at him. Uh, mean Green's pyramid scheme, allegedly. Yo, I don't know nothing about that. I ain't saying that now. Uh, history, Conrad. So in history, what's your favorite dynamite match you've ever seen, Derek? History, history, dynamite match and moment. I'm putting you on the spot. Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker. Blackout match. All right, lights out. Lights out match. Yeah, that was a really good match. Yeah, that was mm, piece of love. This <laughs> I'm trying to think of what match did I love the most. Best match it might be Danielson and uh, uh, Omega. That was that was legendary. I love that match. Um, I don't know, man. You could you could go into a lot. Uh, <laughs> yo, hold on. I'm about to address these video game comments. Y'all y'all not getting away with some of these. I see y'all putting in the chat. People getting slick. I promise you, we're getting a uh, dynamite. It's gonna be quick though with some of these tonight. Um, history, man. All right, give me Danielson Omega right now because I can't think. And my favorite moment, man. I really want to put Punk, but that was Rampage. Um, Ooh. man, there's so many good ones, bro. Man, just the launch of AEW, man. It just felt good to have another option. Like y'all don't know. This is why I'm talking about this with the video game. Like the options are important, bro. WWE wouldn't be better without these letters behind us. I don't care what anybody says. You can't convince me otherwise. Yeah. We would still be getting the same garbage. Um, let me see here. You also have to entice players to play what they want. The developers deserve all the blame they're receiving at the moment. I don't have a problem with what you said, but I also want the community to acknowledge that some people are being buttholes. I'm not going to be funny about this. Like, they're dead serious, bro. They're being buttholes about stuff, though. Yes. Like, all they've complained every day, some people. And I'm like, bro, I, I heard you. Tell me how to make it better. Because all I hear are complaints. 
it's not my job to tell you how to make it better. Then I don't want to hear it anymore. Thank you for your feedback. It's done. I don't want to hear from you. Stop posting in here then. Oh, uh, sounds pretty reminiscent of uh, what I said in in the in the uh, in the Facebook chat where I said give give me a reason as to why I should like Maki Ito. Here we go. See, slander did not said, need to be said. It's not slander, bro. That I, is slander. She, she's not even on this show. She got nothing to do with this. Doesn't matter. She's trying to make her bread. You hate it, bro. Doesn't matter. All you right. have to give me a reason. Mahito, you are welcomed anytime on the show if you want to come on. CJ's all about that action arcade wrestling. E, what are you doing to me, bro? PS4, Fight Forever, Frozen. I heard they fixed that. Look at what I just sent you, Conrad. Looks like he is... What? What are you sending me, Jesus? MJ analysis before AW. And okay, hold on. I gotta read this. So wait, where was this said? Hey Zeus, y'all can't be sending me stuff live. We getting live, we getting crazy. Um says before AEW, there was only one show in town to make money. WWE. He had interest from WWE, but then he held out and joined up with visionaries who let him be who he wanted to be. He thanks Tony for making him a very rich man in 2024. That man better be signed to an extended deal, Tony. No yes. cap. No Come cap. On. Like, don't be messing around. Come and we still waiting for GTA 6. That's going to take a while, but we're getting it soon, I think. But I bet you it'll still look the same. You, well, you have to for all the stuff. That nah, you bro. Put in. Nah. Well, it might look better, but I, I, I'll, I, I don't got time for the video. I don't have time for video game explanations. I'm just saying there are a lot of other wrestling games, so WWE 2K23 is the only game currently I call BS. Mm. Mm. Is there any are any of those games gonna take down WWE or pose a threat to WWE? Only game that could take it down right now is WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy. That's what I'm saying. They're battling their old selves and they're still getting paid. You're just putting more money in their pockets. Don't I? I don't know. But it's getting updates though. NBA 2K series. Yo, NBA 2K is corrupted on my system because when they do updates, it does it corrupts my data. Yeah, it, that actually happens to me a lot too. That's why I stopped buying it. Yeah, it's just, ugh. uh, yeah, GTA has been out for like 10 years. <laughs> has Derek played you yet? No, Derek's been ducking. No, nah, nah. uh, is the Cody Doc? What do you want to talk about? Ace, what up? Uh, I love the parking lot brawl. That's another classic, bro. Omega Danson or Brit Thunder Rosa. Kingston's dynamite debut was fire. I did love that. G1 was dope this morning. Oh, Mr. Brody Lee. That was another good episode oh, yeah. where he debuted and uh or excuse me, where he won the TNT title, but his debut was good too. Yeah. Thoughts on Logan Paul and a wrestler. Uh as a wrestler, he's cool. As a person, keeping it moving. <laughs> Pink Sting and Darby. I did love that with uh where they faced MJF and uh FTR. Hangman winning the world title, Lucha Bros versus the Bucks, the Brody Lee tribute show. We were at that show. That was a good show. Um Hangman Dark Order Entrance, play uh play the GTA music on that. Keep Paul White off my television. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just trying to see if there's anyone I didn't put some respect on Maki Ito's name, Derek. Absolutely you. not. McKinney, yo, I'm here to talk AEW with the baddest podcast at EPW. What up, McKinney? Appreciate you. Uh, Fight Forever, not trash, just limited, not so much stuff to do. Give it time. Yeah. Give it time. We'll see. Holler at me in a year about this. I'm just fearful that the game ain't going to get updates if people keep saying bad stuff about it. That's what I'm, it's not. Nobody said anything to entice someone to want to buy it. And I have great fears that if this doesn't sell, we're going to be uh, real sad. Yeah. Oh, the acclaim winning the championships. Yeah, them them uh, Grand Slam shows are always good. Oh, yeah. Let's get into this. Let's get into this show tonight. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, I caught Derek slipping. <laughs> caught him slipping. <laughs> Derek, we got to talk about your boys resigning, man. The Elite have signed uh, contract extensions for AEW. They put the E in All Elite Wrestling. That's hating, bro. That's hating. These guys living out their dreams. I'm happy for them. I am happy for all of the Elite. Congratulations being re-signed to AEW. Can't wait. Big fan. Love it. Was. Wow. Opening match tonight. Chris Jericho and Kanosuke Takeshka versus Sammy Guevara. Spanish God. Versus uh, Daniel Garcia. You're going to hit the dance. You're going to hit the little, little <laughs> in the front. 
<laughs> so we'll put Rod Stewart over that. <laughs> if you want my body, if you think I'm shaking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, Chris Jericho and Kanosuke Takeshka versus Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. Uh, Jericho and Sammy start things off in this one. Sammy was also on the first Dynamite match he faced Cody. So for those who ever want to know a little piece of trivia, Dynamite 200, Sammy gets the opening match as well. And I think he's developed into a heck of a performer since then. He yes. ain't rocking the panda yes. stuff anymore. He's he's out there killing it, man. He's, he's definitely uh, coming to his own, and I appreciate it. And can't wait to see more. The backstory behind this one is really the Don Callis factor. He yes. is trying to lure Jericho away, but mm-hmm. Jericho still has the JAS and people trying to keep him with them. Um, in this, we saw the Lasex gods pose mocked, uh, lots of dancing. Hot tag creates chaos. Walls of Takeshka, as he called it, locking it in. He had that knee on the back of that neck. I love it. Uh, That's the best way to do it. Double down with Sammy and Jericho. Garcia gets in the Dragon Slayer. He's got it locked in on Jericho. Don Callis, this scumbag, hits him with the baseball bat. Jericho sees it. Goes for the pin anyway because a dub's a dub. Dub is a dub. And uh, he gets the win. Chris Jericho and Takeshka win. Jericho sees it and he looks a little conflicted. Confliction is a beautiful thing. That's right. Um, it's what it is, man. I'm I'm intrigued by this, but where is this going? What's the game? What like I'm more confused. What is Don Callis trying to do here? Trying to create a new family. He lost his old family, so now he's got to create a new one. Right. Um, I love it. Someone said Don Callis' debut was fun too. I'm happy they re-signed the elite. Deanna says. Good evening, EPW and Derek. Good evening, Jocelyn and Chat. I hope y'all are doing well. Original Biggie, what up? You missed some good Grand Theft Auto and video game talk in the beginning. I know you would have appreciated that. Uh, the Elite resigned with AW Kyra Q, the LA Knight. Yeah, we can't do that right now. Can't. <laughs> yeah, we're ready for. We're getting ready for Saturday. Got to get a screenshot of that for the other shirt designs. Yeah, we just need Derek doing that dance. <laughs> Be right on the front of the shirt. Uh, it's a smart idea that they all resign because no one wanted to see Omega job to Omas. <laughs> so if they're all still EVPs, did they basically resign themselves? No, nah, Tony still has to do it. There's levels to this. Oh, someone says Scorpio Sky went in the TNT championship. Forgot about oh, that. Yeah, that was a good moment. Uh, the opening match was quite good, entertaining, like I said, until the trash ending. There's some confusion with this. Like I said, I'm interested to see where they go. Takeshka, Kerry, Jericho, dance party. <laughs> Hand CJ a copy of the Fight Forever game. All right, since you're so adamant about it, sell me this game in my Leonardo DiCaprio voice from Wolf of Wall Street. The gameplay is what it is built upon. The foundation is amazing. If there is something in there that you don't like, it could be added in possibly later i hope you communicated that i did see a lot of requests for universe mode i don't know what that is in AEW, but apparently that was requested um but i also blame the community for that as well the community managers the developers because they didn't set realistic expectations right should have did that beforehand as well but get the game yes i think it's well worth it and i need competition for wwe in the future so please help Help me. Help me. Garcia was popping extra hard tonight. <laughs> Why did I just hear ludicrous <laughs> BET after dark song? Right. Put the children to bed if they don't know what this song is that I'm talking about. I don't know what the end game is unless Callis has other people in the family. Maybe we get JAS versus the family. I feel like they're trying to turn the JAS baby face. Yes, that, 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 that's what it sounds like. That's what um, it feels like. I, I, ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. I think, I think I'd be all right with it. We'll see. We'll see what they're doing here. All in's not fully set yet, no. but we'll see. And, and I want to get some thoughts on that from everybody, too, momentarily. Tony Khan shows some dynamite highlights afterwards, which I thought was cool. It was lovely. Yes. I like it. It was pretty dope. Um, always good to get that. Daddy Magic Matt Menard runs into Jericho and says, JS is reuniting next week, and you're going to be there. Because it makes his nipples hard. He did not say that. I just added that in. But 
you're going to be there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he did say it. Out next is your favorite, Jack Perry. That bit, yo, Tony Khan. The Beethoven music's got to go. Yeah. It doesn't fit him. No. At all. It, there's a big disconnect for e me. Even as a heel, it doesn't fit him. It's just gar gar. Yeah. So he's going out. He's going to face Jerry Lynn. We all know daggone well Jerry Lynn ain't doing this. He then had his Randy the Ram send out from the wrestler. Jerry Lynn ain't doing this no more. Jerry Lynn is one of the most underrated talents, I think, ever. Oh, yeah. Uh, if he's a name that I don't say, he's a name I should say. But Jerry Lynn is very underrated. Deserved a lot more than what he got. Uh, ECW used him the best, I think. I yeah, always feel oh, yeah, by that. Absolutely. Now, Jungle Boy got more than he could uh, chew. He more said, I got a friend. He said that he's got a friend who wants to come out to uh, like talk to him, wrestle him, whatever. We, and then all of a sudden, we just heard the... And I was like, I know this dude, Tony Khan, did not buy Pantera for Rob Van Dam. Bro, to quote my friends at the pro wrestling shoot, Tony Khan's pockets run deep. They do. Runs deep, bro. That was amazing. Amazing. Spect. Whoa. What do you say? Yeah, dude, classic, bro. Going go brings me back to uh where we graduated college from Rob Van Dam going up against Bam Bam Bigelow in the Burt Flickinger Center. <laughs> that was our local community college where like all the sports happened. So amazing. Downtown Buffalo. Yep, yep. Crazy. That's where ECW used to come for us. And I thought that it was amazing that uh, uh ECW that was. It was just dope, bro. ECW was dope. I wish it came on more and I could watch it more. Yeah. I got to go back. See, instead of doing these WCW reviews, I need to be going back and watching ECW. But ECW sometimes be raunchy, though, bro. I watched one from 2000, checking the archives. I did a review. And uh, this is like when Rhino was coming around. He was like the world champ and stuff. Facing <laughs> Sam, man. I was like, yo, bro, you can't be talking like this in, in, in today's like climate. I was like, you can't be saying this stuff. They were bugging. Oh, yo. They, Yo, ECW review would be dope. Right? Uh, Quills agrees. <laughs> Jack Perry's theme is not it. We got Pantera. We got Pantera. When Pantera hit, RVD, RVD. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, Jack Perry needs some better music that fits him. Yeah, we got to get some rock or something for him. I don't know what it is yet. My other ECW guy would have been Bully. Oh, no. Actually, I, I was kind of thinking that myself. Nah. I don't think Tony Khan likes Bully Ray. I don't mm -hmm. know. That's just me. That's a perception. Thing. Probably not. I don't know, though. Bully Bully Ray be bugging sometimes, too. He was like, I would not announce a match for all in. Leave the whole card a surprise. What the hell am I buying? Come on, now. Uh, Jack Perry versus RVD next week. Yes. It was announced for next week. Rob Van Dam threw out the challenge later on in the show. I cannot wait. Um, Van Dam threw a kick that looked pretty good. Yes. Pre Pretty good. He was moving pretty limber. Still got a good spin kick in the bag. I could tell RVD been wanting that Pantera walk theme for a while. Vince was not going to pay for that. Of course not. If Tony got it, I mean, that's on you, bro. That's it. You got to let it rock. I can't complain. Derek, you said something during this show, and I want to know if it still stands true by the end of this review for this match. Derek said that this was his match of the night for a little bit. In this one, anything goes all AEW originals. John Moxley, Penta, El Zero, Miedo, and Trent question mark Beretta. <laughs> um, I love it, man. I love it. This this is still my match of the night. This was fun. Match you could play on fight forever. Yep. Yeah, I'm being a little smart ass. So uh this was fun though. Like this was like <sighs> Actually, I know someone about to say it, but you can't do triple threat matches like this on there. I know, I know. We'll we'll yell at them to put that in for feedback. But right. this was good. I thought it it, I thought it was I thought it was exactly what AEW was in the beginning. Like you just never knew what you were gonna get. They were just going buck wild, crazy, do whatever. I agree. And just just as well, we all we all know what we all knew what Moxley was gonna do. The the barbed wire bat, or well, two by four. 
and then uh, the thumbtacks, obviously the tables, maybe a chair here and there and a garbage can once or twice. But piece of the resistance. Look at you. Look at you. Uh, RBD, <laughs> where's RBD I'm, wrestling? RBD's in, on the indies. I'm let do flamage. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, Derek about to be suspended. We're gonna announce that match for next week, and he ain't gonna be here, y'all. <laughs> what is he doing? Bully was definitely tripping about this surprise card. Xavier, I feel you, bro. Like what? Yeah, he, was. he was. I have a lot more money than Crockett, and I'm not gonna take this shit. <laughs> Sick. Why you always bring up that quote, bro? <laughs> Somebody said rip the trap. <laughs> this triple threat was wild. Another loss for BCC. Well, they didn't technically eat the loss. Barbed wire, two by four, full equals Foley. Perry Carey, what up? What up? Welcome. Welcome. RVD's knees <laughs> walk like his knees hurt. Yeah, no, nah, them knees definitely hurt, bro. He's been doing this a while. I should have said bro to you, Jocelyn. His knees definitely hurt, though, for, for sure. For sure. Them knees are cooked. He's been doing it too long. Do you think he comes back with a... With a Decent frog splash. Oh, Quill said this was match of the night. He thought. Yeah. You still, so you're still standing on that. Still, still standing by it. Man, all still right. This standing. wasn't my match of the night, but uh, it was nonstop chaos. I couldn't even take notes on it. I know people were going through tables. People got put through. What do I got? Uh, Penta a top rope destroyer on Trent bugging. Uh, mock shoulder blocks. Penta through a table. Penta suplex on the thumbtacks. Paradigm shift on Penta. Trent comes up with a running knee on Mox, steals the pinfall. Mox, as he's celebrating, comes up from behind. Yeah. Chokes him, puts him in that bulldog choke. Here comes the rest of the BCC. And then the best friends cut him off. Orange and Chuck Taylor put a beat down. And Chuck Taylor said, You know what? Rampage, parking lot, brawl. So we're going to get best friends versus BCC on Rampage. Makes it, it makes it must watch to me. It's going to happen in Daly's place. So. Let's get it. Um, McKinney said, I'm desensitized by Moxley. The hardcore stuff at AW is getting played out to me. I respect it. I respect it. Might have to uh, ease up on it. I hear you, though. What's up, Carrie Perry? Welcome. Bro, the only thing was interesting was that Swerve segment, Kyron and Derek, and AR Fox seem like a menace. I love it. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what are we, Is that coming up here? Ooh. No, I think it's after. One more match, and then it's after that. Yeah. Um, we got to RVD Challenge and Jack Perry, MJF promo. This cornball, get this guy out of here. You like babyface, Max? Could you get into a babyface MJF, Derek, if it was time? No. I ain't believing him, man. I could. I, I think he's been the way that he's been for so long that it would be very, very awkward to see him as a babyface. I, I, I think he could pull it off, but where, where does the – would he, would he be like the Randy Orton nah. of AEW? Nah, bro. He could probably pull it off. I think he'd be love, but he's such a good jerk. But, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, Randy Orton was a, was a heel. Then he was a face. But then he was, like, neutral. And people still loved him. By the way, shout out to Sick for uh, coining. I'll never forget this episode we did where Moxley first faced Darby Allin. Oh. The paradigm shift off the top rope. I mentioned it tonight to Derek because he was like, what, what's your favorite time Moxley ever hit that move? And I was like, you already know. Top rope, Darby Allen, And Six said in the chat after, the ghost of Darby Allen felt that one. <laughs> he got cooked. Uh, MJF is going to learn why Cole is a master game player, right? Like Stone Cold Conrad. What? <laughs> what up, man? Appreciate you, uh, Perry. So... MJF cuts his little promo, you know, he's talking, he's he's doing his thing, I guess, I guess, and they make the match. He says, I'm going to give you the match, and you guys all know, it's the match we always want. Yep. It's the match that we need for this show in Wembley Stadium. It's the match that people would love to see. We'll even take a variant of this one. But... <laughs> Shout out to Sean for controlling the boards for us tonight. It is very, very important to get this match in, and it is made official. Adam Cole and MJF are going to be going in 
to All In. They're calling it the most historic wrestling show in history. They're building this up like that's the tagline now. Not that stupid, yes, we mean Wembley. Right. <laughs> I like this one here. So this is going to be it. Cole and MJF, he went from being the first person on All In, and now MJF could be main eventing the show. That is crazy. Yes. Um, 10,000 to 80,000. Huge jump. I think that is... And the numbers are climbing, bro. They're, they're only like 3,000 tickets away from beating like WrestleMania 3. And that's a classic show. When Hogan body slammed Andre and he jumped 15 feet high in the air, brother, to drop that leg drop. No. You, you watched that bash at the beach 2000 yesterday, didn't you, with Russo and them? Bro, bro, Eric Bischoff's a liar, bro. Listen. <laughs> On no way in hell Hogan was body slamming Andre the Giant. I I I saw I saw the clip. Bro. I'll show you. I saw the. Clip, it was better bro. than Yoko's and Lexus. Lex I, Luger drew was like a toss. I, I'll give you that, but I, I we we saw the document, bro. Fifteen feet high, brother. He was like, no, brother, no more. No, bro. You know, Hogan be telling them tall tales. He, yeah, you he, know, he, he, he definitely to, told a tall tale on that one. He was supposed to be the guitarist for Metallica. Well, he, too, supposed he, said. Be, he supposed to be the toilet paper to my toilet bowl. <laughs> Disrespectful, but I'll allow it today, <laughs> bro. We all know Andre the Giant let him do that. So, yo, come on, bro. Breaking K Fame now, Absolutely. breaking people's hearts. Absolutely, I'm sorry, Hulkamania. Matt Lopez brings up a good point in this promo. We forgot about the whole uh, hugs them, they embrace, they accept it, and then we see Roderick Strong. I don't know why Roderick Strong's like a, a a jolted friend, like just slamming stuff. Like you got bad attitude, bro. And the Kingdom come backstage, and they could be doing a new faction. Maybe I don't know what this is leading to, but he was like, "Yeah, he forgot about us because Adam Cole was once in the Kingdom as well." People don't forget. So mm. is Cole feeling left out now? More more on this in the weeks to come. I like where that's going. <laughs> Matt Lopez says Punk versus Jeff Jarrett for All In. Jeff Jarrett about to be facing uh, Grado. <laughs> That's what it's looking like here. Uh, promo segment was nice, but weird babyface promo. Y'all got to quit trusting MJF, bro. I still think he's turning. Oh, yeah. Do not trust him. Do you think Tony's going to take a break? I don't know. I don't know if she is. Bro, that Dark Side of the Ring episode was good. I, I don't know. That one was a little rough. I, I I didn't feel bad for anybody in it really. Maybe Jared, but everyone else I was like, I don't care. Darby on his tenth reincarnation since AEW started. <laughs> what does this say? Take a I can't even see what that's supposed to be. Oh, take a drink every time Russo said, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I had to get close to see that that was like an olive or whatever in it. Um, Jeremy Hanks up, Conrad Derek. OMG, I'm so happy RV showed up at AW. I hope they sign him to be a coach there. That would be dope. And also, Derek, what if Cole turns on MJF to be with the kingdom? But MJF brings Richard Holiday in for all in. Richard Holiday be dope. I don't think Derek's too familiar with him. That's the MLW stuff, but bring him and Hammerstone in. I'm all about it. You could do that. We all talked about TK buying Pantera song. Imagine if Grado is it, yo. Grado gets to come out to Madonna like a prayer. Yo, he needed that. He was hoping Impact would buy that. We know, Derek. Just stop. Oh, and the, one of the funniest moments when Christopher Daniel hit that by somersault. Y'all know the one. I was laughing so hard. I was in literal pain. I love Christopher Daniels. <laughs> I always believed that was supposed to be done on purpose, but now I don't know. I thought that was going to be like part of a storyline. I... I I took it as he, he he messed up. Maybe MJF back with Wardlow. I can't see Ward Dog going back to him. Nah. Nah. Keep it moving. But Wardlow did tweet out, like, maybe I'm not good at politics, but I'll never rise up as long as MJF's in this company. I was like, oh, interesting. So maybe he'll get to him. Afterwards, carry on my wayward son. I heard this shit at Target one day, bro, and I I can never like unhear it. Like it's always playing, and I think of them now. And I'm like, get out of here, <laughs> get me out of here. Kenny Omega and the Bucks versus Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, and Satnam Singh. Yo, this might have been Satnam's best match. 
Honestly, bro, this was a great performance by him. Yeah, Sat Nam did good, I thought. He it's... did. He did. Like, how tall is he? Like, seven feet? Too damn tall. Yeah. Uh, for someone to be that tall and move the way that he was moving, I was very impressed. Because most people, at, well, anybody at that height, except for, the, with the exception of Shaq. Them bad knees. Right. <laughs> um, not very nimble, but. He he was looking kind. He was looking kind of good, being nimble there. Yo, Perry Carey said, "I told you, Conrad Jeff Jarrett was going to be the best thing for AEW. Now he's facing Grado. That's epic." Some people sound disappointed by it. I was reading today, and if anyone's asking, just Google YouTube Grado like a prayer. It's magical. Definitely could be. Um, this one don't have a lot of notes. Lots of super kicks to the knees. Jared strutting and cutting. Jay Lethal is really good in the ring. Yes. That's all I can say about Lethal. Lethal was the one who held down the wrestling portion of this. He gave uh, that Lethal combination to Kenny. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. I'd love to see them get a one on one match on like a Dynamite or a Rampage or something. Have they wrestled one? Maybe Collision. What? Have they wrestled one? Uh, Kenny, Kenny put out a great tweet about this. I, so everyone was like, why is this match happening? Well, Kenny got it all popped off and started. He was like, Jay Lethal, you haven't beaten me in 14 years since uh, AJPW. I don't want to hear nothing from you. Uh, what did he say about Jeff Jarrett? He said, oh, I was happy when AJ kicked your ass out of Bullet Club. And then he, told, he said, sat down seeing you couldn't hit one three-pointer at a charity event. You ain't beating me. <laughs> and I was like, yo, these, yo, funny dude. Satnam had the Jarrett row, bro. We were dying. I was like, this dude big as hell. Where'd they get this? Where the hell they get this big old cape from for him? It's my world. Well, they, thank you. Thank you, BJ. Yeah, they, they, pulled, <laughs> they pulled down somebody's curtains. Carry on was played at the end of Ron Burgundy. It's just forever ruined now, right? Like oh, I just think absolutely. of the elite every time I hear it now. Absolutely. Um, it's a, and you know what's the problem? It's not a bad song. It's just wrestling songs. Sometimes you're like, dang it, Tony. Some, some songs fit when you when you put them in wrestling. Some songs don't. You don't think it fits? Honestly, I didn't really care for that song. I thought I always thought it was annoying. Hey. They came out the gravel pit, though. You'd be all right with it. I'd be all right. <laughs> see, see? <laughs> Kenny versus Lethal would be fire. I'm telling you. This is why I wanted Kenny to resign because he has matches that he hasn't had yet yes. that will benefit him. Yes. The the Bucks have went through everybody, I feel, but not but I guess they could do something with Aussie Open. There's so I want the tag team division to get back to tag teaming. Honestly, I, I would actually like to see the Bucks versus um the guns. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, it could be Bullet Club versus like old Bullet Club, too. You do that. Give me, give me Jay White and Kenny. That's another banger match. So give him, I mean, give it time. Give it time. I need like that needs to be like a thirty minute match. Oh, probably forty, bro. Yeah, here you go. You haven't watched New Japan. You be sleep. Forty. <laughs> be sleep two a.m. two forty five trying to watch that joint. Bro. I think I woke up one day, uh, yeah. uh, the day that it was supposed to be on. I was like, sleep. <laughs> I'm tired. He can't hang. He can't hang. Um, I go to sleep early. If I you lying. Anybody can say that. Mogul Embassy. They go and pay a visit to the Buddy Wayne Academy. Why they beat down everybody training in there? Nick Wayne got cut from the Ruta to the Tuta. Sorry, E. They, he was bleeding, bro. He did the worst blood job of the night. Like, he got he got done up filthy. Yo, that, that boy was leaking. That boy Lincoln got done but worse than Spencer. He, he was soaking wet. He got cut up, bro. He was bleeding. But I thought Swerve did a good job. Then they oh. made him call Darby. There's glass all in the ring. Kneeling it. Now call your friend. Hit the button. <laughs> he calls Darby. What are you doing? I thought Swerve was going to make some demand, like, let me get in the match at uh, All Out or something. But they didn't do that. that that's, that's what I was thinking, too. I was definitely thinking, like, hey, look. Let's let's get a match going. This is what I want. If you want us to leave your boy Nick alone, I need this. <laughs> Rob said this was good until they made him open up the phone. Nah, man, I felt some Uncle Jerome here. You know where that's from? We all right. I felt some Uncle Jerome here. Slap, 
Call your call your damn daddy. <laughs> call him. <laughs> one one of one of those moments. I'm gonna need that edited in, Rob. You know what? Put this. We got we got said that to Bacha Media. Call your damn daddy. <laughs> Nick Wayne and Darby Allen versus Swerve and AR Fox should be a money match. It will be. I definitely think that that one. <laughs> Matt Lopez said Nick Wayne got wrecked. Facts. AR Fox had that glass to Nick Wayne neck like makeup open the phone. They, they went too far, bro. T- Tony, you see this? I have not contacted local authorities. <laughs> I, I just let it be. Swerve is a dog and I love it. Yeah, no, Swerve is great. I love Swerve. Swerve at AR, man. They had me reminiscing about Lucha Underground, bro, seeing them together. Such a good show. Um, Actually, you know what? I, I think that's probably the best version of Mobile Embassy that we've seen so far. I'm t- Mobile Embassy's bad, bro. Like, I mean, and I mean that in a good way. Like, they could be a group. There's only one person that don't fit. I'm sorry, Brian Cage. You don't fit. Like, yeah. you're weird in this group. It just don't make sense. Yeah, he... His, put, put Big Bill in Bullet Club. Cage can be by himself. I don't think yeah. he needs anybody. No. He's a one-man, like, powerhouse show. I, I'm not saying get rid of Cage or anything like that. You know, he's not my favorite, but I think you can do something with Cage. Yeah. You can put powerhouse in Mobile Embassy. That wouldn't be, Then you, you got to start doing something with that group. You can't, you can't be messing around with that. True. Um, I love it. I love the ideas for this. Um, is this is this is this match all in worthy? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So you think that they're gonna put this on? Yes. It, honestly, bro, I think it would be stupid not to. I think that match would actually cut down the ticket sales to half. Really, you think people would buy tickets for this match? I would buy a ticket for that match. Swerve and AR Fox. I just put it in the chat. Is this all in worthy? You could just put yes or no in the chat for me or green check mark something. Give me something in here to let me know. Is this all in worthy? Ace says yes. So Ace, I I kind of agree. I think it's I think you could put this on a major show. Honestly, bro, this could be a major You still need main events for dynamite, too, though, leading up to this. We still got a couple weeks. As much as much as I would love it for dynamite, I don't love it for dynamite. Really, I love it for a pay per view, and all in is what it's for. Well, BJ Darby's uh, already got the TNT title shot. He said he put it on all out, but uh, Matt Lopez says yes for the buy in. Okay, no, not the buy in. Yeah, oh, because he's gonna be late. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad, y'all. I was getting some drinks for us. <laughs> yeah, I bet, Derek. Uh, I like Swerve and AR Fox together. Uh, we plays the thug role perfect. Uh, was that the hard way or the blade with Nick Wayne? <laughs> uh, yes, if we give it, if they give it a little more. No, Conrad and Derek, that's a bad idea. Hobbs don't need to be in no faction. How about Willie Mack with Swerve and AR Fox? Lucha Underground 2.0. I wouldn't mind that. The I feel like Ring of Honor needs separation, though. Like, who's in ROH and who's on AEW? Because you got some people who jump back and forth. But Willie Mack's not a bad person. He, you might have to change up how Willie Mack's presented, though. Who's Willie Mack? Um, he was someone else in Lucha Underground. See, that's how you know Derek don't be watching Impact and stuff. Um, but Willie Mack's good, though. He does, like, the stunner and stuff. He's kind of like a heavy set dude, but he's really, really good, though. Like, I oh. Kind of got, like, a little fro. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he used to team with Rich Swan and uh, Impact. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'd build it for All Out, but Darby's already got a match at All Out. He's got the TNT Championship match, whoever the champ is. Willie Mack, maybe, maybe I'd have to see it. I want to. I'd have to see like prototypes and test for it. Willie Mack is good. Deanna said, "Okay, I respect everyone's opinion on that. I respect it. Let's get into the next match." I just thought about something. We'll talk about later. What do you want to talk about? Wait, not yet. Yeah. RH World Tag Team Championship. Aussie Open versus Vikingo and Commander. I know his name is El Hijo del Vikingo, but I was just calling him Vikingo for those who are new. Vikingo. This match was pretty good. This was good. This yo, was good. yo, we're Rob. Come on, you got to show some love to Commander after this now. 
He did what he had to do. People were flying in this one. Kyle Fletcher, Mark Davis of Aussie Open are really good. Derek, what did you think of them? Because you haven't really seen too, too much of them. I, I thought they were really good, actually. I, I, I like I like the ring presence. Uh, I like the move sets. Um, yeah, the, the, uh, Aussie Open is dope. I like the theme song. Aussie, yeah. Aussie, Aussie. Yeah, 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 it's a good song. The, the theme song was dope. If you ever get bored on YouTube, you want to watch some wrestling, go back and watch them versus FTR. For like New Japan Royal Quest shows and stuff, really good. Come on, bro. I'm not. I'm, I'm just telling you, it's good. Good tag team wrestling. I don't know if I'm ready for that. It's good tag team wrestling, man. Give me Silas Young and Collision. That's Derek's boy, Tom. Tom Selleck. He Tom called him Selleck. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Tokyo the Menace knows. Commander and Vikingo showed out as a team. I they like did. it. Yeah. Um, at one point, bro, Commander jumped off of Mark Davis' back on someone's shoulders. I think it was uh, Vikingo had him up yeah. on the shoulders. Mm -hmm. He jumped off the back and then hit a destroyer on Kyle Fletcher. Kyle Fletcher got wrecked in this match. Mad times. They were hitting tandem like outside dives. They were really good. Yeah, they, they, this this match was was uh, top notch for me. This was probably. Second or third match of the night. You can't be third match of the night. But, listen. There are no rules. Aussie Open wins with their finisher. I don't know the name of this move, but they pick you up on the shoulders, tuck your head, and then flip you, like give you like the, the washer-dryer sequence. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> GG. Game over. They get the yeah. Ws. <laughs> they get the W. Aussie Open wins. They're perfect right now for Ring of Honor. Yes. Uh, they'll provide some good matches for them in the future. I like it. Um, finally, a UK wrestler with no UK theme. Something different for an Aussie entrance. Uh, do you like Aussie Open theme, Conrad and Derek? Yeah, I love it. I love oh, yeah, it, Derek here. Uh, who doesn't like to be flipped? <laughs> They they were flipping people like pancakes in this one. It was a good match though. Commander needs some W's though. Like yes. Vikingo's got the AAA World Championship, the Mega Championship, so he's good. But yeah. Command Commander, Commander needs he needs some help. He, he needs he needs a couple. I, I think he's someone who should be on Ring of Honor. If you don't yes. know what you want to do with him on Dynamite, but he's showing out though on Dynamite when he gets the chance. That is that is true. That is true. But I think thank you, Rob. I think he doesn't fit right now. Commander of Vikingo should be used sparingly. If we see them every week, they become uh, one trick ponies. Well, Commander signed to AEW, so you got to use him. Yeah. This isn't like some specialty with him. Vikingo's a special act, and he shows up every now and again. He doesn't show up all the time, but once again, they probably don't want their guys taking L. So, like, yeah, put let Commander take the L. Right. Yeah. So it don't hurt. Um, we get highlights of the CM Punk. And Ricky Stark's promo. Uh, this was fun. This was Ricky. fun. He's a heel now, though. Spanish. Should really put a stop to this, though. <laughs> Bam. So, Ricky Starks, he's got a promo. They show the collision match. Punk has spray painted a big X and is calling himself the real world's heavyweight champion. I don't know why I want to put an S on it because that's how everyone used to do it when I was a kid. The real world's heavyweight champion. Um, like, like, like we got most, like uh, we live in a multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got we got four suns, eight Earths, five Uranus. You hate it, Rob. You hate it, Rob. He said, you know how I feel about Commander. Stop it, Rob. Come on. This match was good, bro. Give us Aussie Open versus FTR 2 at All In. Wouldn't it be three? I think they wrestled at New Japan, and maybe there was a house show one they did somewhere else. Ricky, yes. How do you get Nakamura with Ricky? I don't know. I don't know how you – how do you – what do you mean, Jocelyn? What do you mean? CM Punk is the AEW X Division champion. Chill. Punk should have spray painted that belt red. If the X is his is wait, if the X is his, the his straight edge, well, he used the, he usually uses black or red for it, uh, depending on I guess the gear. Maybe maybe there's different reasons why he does it personally, but I was cool with it. I yeah. think it looks good on the belt. It defines it as it's not the real world title, and I think we all know where this is going eventually. Right. <laughs> More on that later. Um. 
What'd you think though here uh, with with this promo? Ricky the Dragon Steamboat guest enforcer on the outside this Saturday. I like it. I like it. I'm I'm a fan. This is gonna be Collision is my favorite show. Also on Collision, we got Chris Statlander versus Mercedes Martinez for the TBS Championship tag titles on the line. FTR versus Brian Cajun, Big Bill, and uh, they're gonna be going at it. Rampage, Parking Lot Brawl. Anna J versus Sky Blue, Swerve and AR Fox in action. Uh, let me see here. Who is it? The Hardys and uh, who was the other person that was? T- Keith Lee. Keith Lee and yeah. the Hardys versus Kip Sabian, Butcher and Blade. And next week, Jack Perry versus Rob Van Dam. Can't be mad at it. Nope. It's time for the main event. Tony Storm versus Hikaru Shida. Listen, this match was fantastic. Where's the where's the book the women better? They got the main event this week. Cut your fake crap out. <laughs> Cut it out. They've been doing this ever since the Britt Baker match. She only got one minute. If she wasn't on the card, you would have complained there was no women's matches. Right. But, 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 stop complaining. This rocked. Ain't nothing else to say bad about this. Sheeta came out aggressive. The numbers game was a constant factor throughout this match. Uh, they came in. They kept playing the numbers game. Sheeta's in big trouble. They trade shots back and forth towards the end. Sheeta hits a big knee, that that V trigger, and then she hits her with the Falcon Arrow, only gets a two count on Tony Storm. Then they throw uh, the kendo stick in the ring. Sheeta ends up getting it, uses it, beats down uh, Soraya and Ruby Soho, get them out of here. As the ref takes it, as we know, spray paint. I'm like, here we go. Spray paint to the eyes. Tony Storm drops around them dimes, and she calls a neck. Boom. Goes then for the pen. I said, one, two. Sheeta kicked out. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> She then goes for the pile driver again as a quick follow up. Sheeta flips her over. Looks like she goes for a sunset flip. Sheeta flips back. Bulldog Brett. One, two, three. Sheeta is your new AEW Women's Champion. She deserves it. You know why? Because Sheeta put on a banger with Nyla Rose, and I knew that match would be good. And she deserves it. Yes. Like, she rocked this entire match. This would be what, two time now, right? Two time women's she, champion. Sheeta always delivers. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, when you she need something perfect. good, she does the good for you. Yes, Sheeta was perfect. Love Sheeta. This was this was a good move. This she, was a good move. To quote DDP, she's a two time, two time AEW women's champion. Sheeta is one of the best parts of the women's division. Yes. She is an ace for them. When you need someone to deliver, you can call up Sheeta, give her three matches, and she'll be everyone will be like, you know what? You should give her a title shot. Right. Boom. She's in there. She does it. Sheeta's amazing. Can't go wrong with Sheeta. Sheeta's gonna give you her best every single time. Always been one of my favorites in that division. Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. Sean Hubbard says, Good evening, brother Conrad, brother Derek. I'm here to support as always. Bless up. My guy, Hoops. Make sure you check out our uh, SummerSlam preview. If you guys haven't, already up on audio platforms. And uh, Derek, stop doing that. <laughs> uh, you hating on, on people checking us out? <laughs> what you doing, bro? Nah, come check us out. But... What? You hating on Sean? What you mean, us? You talking about the channel? No, nah, yeah, the channel. Well, not... come, come check all of us out. Us. Uh, Sean. Uh, uh, BJ, that's uh, what, what's the other one? Um, but pro wrestling shoot, yes, yeah, you can check us all out. Check us all out. Come, come show us. Derek, some love. Right, and Derek gonna be here for SummerSlam. He's gonna be excited watching a little bag of popcorn and goodies, and he'll be like, Oh, this is cool. They WWE has had a bad pay per view this year. Don't hate, bro. This is true. This is true. So, I appreciate uh, Sean, and tomorrow. 8 p.m. Go to Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. I will be a guest on. Uh, there's going to be a roundtable discussion of the best storylines versus the bloodline. Sean's going to be hosting. It should be an interesting conversation, my friends. So make sure you are here to hold it down and join the convo with us. 
Uh, Adam says, sup, Connor and Derek, if you didn't see Dark Order is going back to recruiting, I did see that. If so, who would you like to see them per- join personally? Lance Archer and Jake manage someone other than uh, Nick Camarado if I was a booker. Um, okay, so Dark Order is up my alley all the, all the way through and through. Um, I would have to go through the roster and actually sit there and actually look and analyze who they would have to take in order for it to be a perfect fit. Um, but they are trying to recruit back into it. You just got to see who fits into the group and what do you yeah. want the new group to be? I need to see the direction of the Dark Order first in order to tell you who would fit. Um if they go back to what it was in the beginning, but a little bit more on the uh, darker cynical side, then I can figure it out. But if they continue with, I don't think they're going to be baby faces. It feels like they're more okay. So, so if they to the roots. So if they if they deviate away from that, then I can I can put things together as to who I would be, would believe could fit with them. Um, Good. That that, could, that that's a good idea. I, let me figure that out. I, I'm let me get back to y'all on that one. We'll come back to that. McKinney says, "Holy Sheeta, this was a great match. I'm glad she won, but now what's the move? This is a surprise for 200. I think you could do a quick title change back to uh Tony Storm if you wanted to." Oh yeah, you could. A said two time. Uh Perry Carey said, "Holy Sheeta." She deserved it. The outcast thing is becoming stale, Deanna says. Give it time, Deanna. They had to deal with a lot of injuries. They had to overcome a lot of obstacles with this, like, story. Yeah. Sheeta will give banger after banger every time. Holy Sheeta. I will be there for Sean's show tomorrow. Thank you, Matt. Much, much appreciated. And as he calls you, M. Leezy for Sheezy. Thank you, sir. Uh, Vince McMahon got a Rico. No, nah, he got, he got a, a, a search warrant or whatever it was. Uh, what should be next for Tony Storm since she lost? Turn on the outcast, get written off TV. Um, I still think that they're going to compete as a group. I, I think oh, the yeah. story's not over yet. No, uh, I think something bigger has to happen, and I don't think that's it. Kip Sabian, I can see fit in the dark order since him and Uno are friends. That wouldn't be a bad person if you want to read. Kip does not fit. Nah, Derek, you just want this man out. I want him gone. But imagine Penelope and him in there. Maybe. No. Maybe you could rebrand. Listen, the Dark Order should be trying to save people. No. Kip is gone. Wow. Wow. Jocelyn says, I'm tired of Ruby taking headshots. Yeah, she's got to put them hands up. Put them hands up. Um, leave leave your review for tonight's Dynamite. Give it, give it a score. It could be out of whatever, pizzas, whatever you guys want to call it. Get ready to get on out of here. Just saying two thumbs up. That's your review? Yes, sir. I'm going to give it a 200 out of 200 tonight. I really enjoyed the show. Not saying it was perfect, but they deserve it because Dynamite has been fun. It's been appreciated. It's given me a lot of content to create. So yes. thank you for that, AEW. Um, Maki Ito and Dark Order. <laughs> they really trying to test Derek Patience tonight. <laughs> hey, Zeus is giving it a thumbs up. Um Jocelyn says, solid 200th episode right there with you. Matt Lopez said, AEW, 9 out of 10. EPW, 10 out of 10. And Sheeta rocks. Christopher Douglas says, it's too late. Sorry, Derek. Kip Sabian, a new contract for AEW and also Evil Uno. Oh, Sabian did get re-signed? God. You, that's hating, bro. Kip, Kip sucks, bro. 8.75 coconuts, Deanna says. I won't say he sucks. I think he's decent in the ring. We just yeah. gotta find we gotta find like a character for him that works and that's believable. His personality sucks. Maki Ito in the dark order. I approve of that. She she could have everybody doing going crazy for her. 8.5. Pillman could have been a nice fit for the dark. I don't think Pillman would have fit. I think Pillman's trying to find himself more so. Like, what is he? What is he trying to be? Well, I guess the bigger question is what what what's what's the uh member limit for the dark order uh, i don't know if we'll put one on it but we're also adding people that will probably end up doing jobs which eh, we got i don't know i want if the dark order is going to stick around we got to make this a thing got to do something with it where i struggle with it you have the house of black i don't think you can go any darker than that which is 
that's a hard place. So if you start if you start the Dark Order the way it was when it came out first, you have to start the Dark Order as a business. Hold on, we got some good stuff coming in. VJ said tonight's show was quality Pizza Hut experience, but EPW is Pizza Hut birthday experience. <laughs> As a man who knows the key to my heart, host hosted by Maki F and Ito. <laughs> Eight out of ten A says for tonight's show. And he said, No, he signed a new contract contract. That's what I said. He signed a new contract, Kip Savior. I believe it. I didn't know we signed one though. Uh Kip can join WWE all I care. Wow. I don't even want them in there. Maki and John Silver, the intergender tag team you need. They're they'll they'll be hilarious together. Yo, chill, Jocelyn, chill. Uh Conrad, you want QT with Dark Order shaking my head? Hell no. No, QT would ruin that. Nah, QT ain't touching nothing. He got bad juju too right now. QT would ruin that. Jake Hager with Don Callis. I wouldn't mind. Jake Hager and Jericho need to stay together. I think they're fine as a tandem. Yeah, they. they Anna J. Lowkey should go back to Dark Order. No, I think Anna J. needs to go with uh, Jack Perry. Make them a couple. Yes, you have to make them a power couple. Butcher and the Blade need to turn face and go after uh, Cass and Cage, or excuse me, uh, Big Bill and Cage. Yeah, you could do that. Seven point five with the apple butter. Seven point five pancakes with the apple butter. EPW always a ten. I thank you for that. Put some chocolate chips in there for us, too. Listen, guys, it's been... Chocolate. It's been 200 episodes of covering. This has probably been a lot more than that for us for videos and such. Thank you to everyone who joins us every single Wednesday for AEW Dynamite Reviews. You guys are the best. Uh, We got 8.5 from Jack Michael for the show. Put them on Tuesday because I don't watch NXT anymore. Same. Uh, Big Bill, one of the best uh, bigs in AEW. Love Big Bill. Love Big Bill. But listen, I appreciate all of you who have decided to join us. We're going to be out for this episode. No SummerSlam review. Uh, I will not be available for it. I'm still trying to work on All In. All In's 50-50 if you're going to get a review right after, or if you're, you may have to wait to try to get our thoughts on some of it. But we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I got to wait for some schedules to come out and such, but I'll let you know in the upcoming weeks as we're getting into all in. Thank you guys. Make sure you join us tomorrow on Hubbard wrestling weekly. As we talk about those great storylines uh, should be a fun convo, but for myself and the man in blue, the man they called Derek, we are out for this AEW dynamite review. One. Yeah.